Greetings on my behalf to everybody. My name is Raimonda Kahinoya, and as a project manager, I spend my days working on projects for digital solutions in medium voltage power distribution. Together with the team, we connect protection relays and automation products to deliver ready-to-use setups tailored for each customer individually. Today I'm here with you to share my perspective on the REX 610 relay. All rely on protection relays, including REX 610, are managed using ABB's relay setting and configuration tool, PCM600. PCM600 is used throughout the whole life cycle of the protection relay. Now I will show you some examples of how you can work with REX610 using PCM600 and one example where PCM600 is not used. REX610 is a freely configurable all-in-one protection relay that covers the full range of basic utility applications. REX610 has a modular and scalable design that allows easy and flexible customization according to protection and communication requirements, which we know can change. Here you can see an REX610 configuration in the Application Configuration tool in PCM600. Using the Application Configuration tool also makes documenting of the configuration easy. After the configuration is done, you can set the protection parameters using the Parameter Setting tool. You have already seen how easy it is to add a new module to REX610. If the modified relay hasn't been configured yet, you don't have to confirm any changes using PCM600. Just proceed to the normal configuration of the relay. In case your REX610 has been configured before the new module was inserted, you will need to confirm this change to the configuration to be able to use the new functionality. This can be easily done using the hardware configuration tool of PCM600. To confirm the change, you just launch the hardware configuration tool. Select the slot and the card type that you inserted into the slot and click Save. After this, you will be able to add all the new functionality to the REX610. Sometimes, like in testing or development phases, you might have to retrieve some information or change configuration of a relay very quickly. It might be then difficult to find a suitable power supply. In a situation like this, you can also connect REX to a laptop via the front port of the relay. This will power the relay partly to allow communication, alteration of parameters and using local HMI. When the relay is only USB powered, the protection functions, for instance, will not be running. The relay will therefore be in internal fault state, showing the fault code USB powered. In order the REX610 to be fully operational, the auxiliary power has to be connected. Now that the relay is USB powered, you can navigate the local HMI or use PCM600 to alter parameter settings. Another benefit of using the USB port is that it is very easy to communicate with the relay. Many of you have probably moved pictures from your mobile phone to a computer using USB connection. You simply connect the USB cable, allow the connection, and start moving the pictures without any additional software. Now, why should it be any more complicated than working with a protection relay? For REX610, the USB connection works similarly to that of a mobile phone, although it depends on the settings of the device. Then, give a username and a password to enable communication. These settings can be changed depending on your own policies. 
After connecting the USB cable and entering the correct username and password, RX Extend will appear in the File Explorer of your computer. Navigate to the Comtrade folder and retrieve the files for further analysis. Now you have seen how easy it is to work with RX Extend, regardless of its lifecycle stage. I thank you for your interest and wish you a very good day.